I'd like to tell you a story about Sarah. She's 65 years old, and she's going in to see her doctor today because she's experiencing pain in her chest and shortness of breath. And after going through an evaluation, the doctor recommends that she has a CT scan done. So Sarah goes for the CT scan, and when Sarah gets the results back, there's a notice that there's a small nodule in her left lung. Based on the size and the shape and the position within the lung cavity, it's recommended that Sarah has a full lung biopsy. Now, a lung biopsy is something that you certainly don't take lightly. In fact, it's quite an evasive procedure. There are lots of risks with it. There are multiple points of entry into the lung cavity, and there's a 20% chance that her lung may collapse in the process. When the process is complete, Sarah will cough up blood for a significant period of time, and she'll have over a one-week recovery process. The goal is to get enough tissue from that nodule so that a determination can be made of whether or not it's cancerous. And if it is cancerous, she will be put on a drug therapy. There's no other way to do it. This is how it's done today. This is our standard of care. But when you think about all the other solid tumor cancers, prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, getting access to that tissue sample to determine whether it's cancerous or not is vital. And in every case, there's an invasive procedure that goes with it. So Sarah is like every other cancer patient out there. But what if there was a way that we could do this in a minimally invasive approach? What if there's a way we could track this patient over time? We are changing the way that cancer is managed as a disease today. We are providing a new tool into the tool belt for the oncologist. By utilizing a blood-based biopsy, we can now provide more information to the oncologist and to the patient. So what does this mean? What's a blood-based biopsy look like? How does this work? So let's talk about that for just a moment. It's known that in cancer cells, they break off from the tumor and enter into the bloodstream and circulate around to settle and form other metastatic sites. If you look at this graphic in the top left corner, you see cells being represented breaking off from the tumor, entering into the circulation system, and ultimately traversing through the body. These cells are commonly referred to as circulating tumor cells. They provide us a tremendous amount of information about the patient and their disease. We can access these cells in a whole unique way. These cells provide tremendous amount of information about the patient's cancer. We are at a unique time where science and technology are coming together. At Epic Sciences, we have developed a minimally invasive blood draw that is the same standard blood draw that we are all used to today when we go to a doctor's office. This procedure, the blood draw, in addition with the test, allows us to have a whole new perspective on the cancer patient. We can uniquely see and analyze these cells at incredible depth. And in fact, what you see now are cells that are blue and green, which are representing the healthy white blood cells of a patient. And the cells in red are these circulating tumor cells that provide us this tremendous amount of information. You can see they have a different shape, different size. Some of them have even already clustered together. All this information can be provided to the oncologist so they can then make sure the patient is getting the right drug for their cancer case. And the patient actually wants to see what these cells look like. They want to know what they're fighting against. With a blood draw that's minimally invasive, we can now monitor patients over time. We can ensure their therapy is continuing to work well for them. We can track them longitudinally to help provide longer outcomes for them. 
ultimately, these cells allow us to change the way cancer is managed as a disease. The paradigm of cancer management is changing. So let's take a moment to reflect on Sarah for a second. If Sarah had had access to this blood-based biopsy, there would be a whole new hope, a whole new future for her. She could work with her oncologist to ensure she's getting the right drug for her case. They could track and monitor her case over time to ensure that therapy is working well for her and that she has not developed resistance to that therapy. I know there are Sarahs out in the audience. I know many of you know a Sarah. Some of you may be related to a Sarah. The good news here is that we are changing the way cancer is managed as a disease, and we are able to extend their lives. Oh, and by the way, what if we took this same technology and we applied it to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, or other autoimmune diseases? Today, we are all ready for this good news. Thank you very much.